What's up YouTube, this is Jay Millionaire here with a quick video of some shoes that just touched down today. Um, as you can see by the box and the description, this is a pair of Dunks versus Air Force One, um, I guess by Undefeated collab. Um, in this case, it's just the Dunks. I didn't get the Air Force Ones. Um, just not really a fan of Air Force Ones unless they're like the original Coke Whites or maybe a different kind of version, but weren't a fan of these that much. But on um, to these, these are the Nike Dunk Low SP Undefeated. Um, undefeated ripped off the t price tag, but I think these retail for 100, 110. Uh, I don't know, correct me if I'm wrong. Of course, these are in my size 10, and these are in Canteen, Lemon Frost, and Pomoni. <laughs> what is it? Palomino? Palomino? Hmm, I guess like citrus. I don't know, whatever. So, onto the box. It is a nice blue box with that Dunk versus Air Force One logo when the undefeated little sign on there as well um a regular orange nike box it would have came in but of course it's like i said it's a collab so it has nike there undefeated on that portion and then on the back it has nike and then defeated and then the rest is just a regular nike box um let's get inside really quick and then onto the shoes so these have that dunk versus air force one paper on here a nice touch that's pretty much it <laughs> and onto the shoes um just in case you're wondering it did come with a receipt and there is a simple ydm sticker in the box oh as well as i guess a stamp at the top just in case you're legit check there i don't know whatever um good thing about these they're actually not going for that high resale i think they're actually close to retail so if you want a pair either because they took a month to come in for most people including myself or just because people weren't feeling these you should probably cop them now because i see the price going up just because this is what happens um, but yeah, cool. So let's get into a quick review of these and uh, that'll be it. So as you can see, these are the Dunk of the Dunk versus Air Force One models they came out with. The Air Force Ones were, I guess, similar color, more of like an army green in my, in my opinion, but I didn't go after those. Quick story about those, when they dropped, I actually added those in my cart on accident because they were the first, I had to take them out and then got these. So I don't know, is that the reason that I got these late? Um... Who knows but i guess luckily i copped a pair in general so i guess i can't um you know beggars can't be choosers um but yeah anyway so they came literally a month later i have people who live next to me or close to me and they got theirs like a week or two ago so i guess it was just randomized whatever so um yeah the shoe itself is primarily like i said the colors is like a canteen brown uh lemon yellow and some other colors it's kind of funky major hints on these are like i said brown yellow and some i guess whitish brown um upper on this shoe the main portion is a super stiff leather kind of cheap leather around that portion with the undefeated uh signia stitched in white um the upper anklet area that's a little softer leather but still not that great around the back portion and a, a nice little brown suede on the rear with the Nike and white. As you can see, it has some uh, quality errors, but it is what it is. Uh, this orange swoosh on here is actually pretty nice. Not the same quality leather, but a nice thick uh, leather on here. And that wraps around the whole shoe itself. This material right here, I'm not 100% sure what it is. And you can look at it, and it looks like it'd be soft or like, you know, breathable or thin. But it's actually pretty thick. Underneath it, it might be soft, but all this dark brown material on here is super hard, like kind of like a, I guess sandpaper material. It's like super, super coarse. So it, it looks um, looks deceiving. It looks like it would be soft, but it is not. Um, the other material on here is more soft. I guess that's throwing me off because it looked like it would be hard, but this is actually soft. Um, and it's just a cloth material on here. Like I said, this one has a coarse material. This one, this one's actually just soft, like a, a nice... Uh, cloth material and that wraps around the whole toe box in the front as well as portion of the eyelets um and that is that soft material with i guess it's like a synthetic leather that's wrapped around that area which is a nice touch and that goes around most of the borders in the shoe um the tongue on here is a nylon that's stitched into that kind of coarse material right here that goes all the way up the shoe with that undefeated logo right here on the top on the rear on here it is that Nike swoosh trademark blah, blah blah made in Vietnam but they do have this kind of thin I wouldn't say pigskin but it kind of feels similar to pigskin uh baseball glove leather on the interior of the tongue which is nice I wish they would have put that on 
other parts of the shoe, but it is what it is, I guess. So that is on the interior, which is a really nice uh, touch on your foot. So I'm glad they did that instead of the hard leather. Uh, insole on this is just that Dunk versus Air Force One in the orange swoosh and orange uh, undefeated logo with a brown insole. And just in case you guys want, I will focus on the tag and you can pause that if you want to for legit checks. The interior on the anklet on here is a super soft kind of neoprene material. It is really cushiony and soft, but it does feel like it'd be like slippery, like kind of like church shocks material, like a synthetic polyester. Not the best, but it is what it is. Um, and like it did say suede right here, which I wish they would have put in certain aspects of here. But hey, that's what they did. Uh, brown laces is what they came on here, just regular ass brown laces. And then it comes with an extra pair of yellow, which in my opinion, work better with the swoosh because the swoosh is the only yellow and there's too much brown on here already. So I'll put those in there later. Uh, midsole on here is a white midsole, which it does make some of the white accents pop, which is nice. And then on the sole itself, it's just a basic brown uh, dunk low or dunk in general sole. So this shoe is not super crazy. A lot of people, like I said, don't like it, I guess. And that's probably why it's going for retail or close to it. But in my opinion, this is pretty clean. Out of the two of the Air Force Ones and these, I'd obviously pick these and I would do it again. Air Force Ones are okay, but I'd probably just go for basic colors like Coke White or maybe even those Supreme Ones, even though I didn't get one of those either. So that tells you a lot. But yeah, um, rate, comment, subscribe. Let me know if you got this pair, if you are still waiting on your pair, because like I said, mine took like almost, I think, a month to come. Um, but I guess at least they came at all because some people got theirs canceled and et cetera, et cetera. So yeah, rate, comment, subscribe, and let me know what you think about these. All right, peace.